Good morning from day 12 of my AT 2024 journey. I'm back on trail. I'm heading south from Route 15. I uh, had the Shaw's breakfast this morning, which was great. I'm stuffed. And then Poet dropped us off around 8.20. And uh, yeah, hit the trail about just under 25 minutes ago. Uh, now moving very fast today. I have a brand new pair of shoes. It's the same style shoe. It's just a new pair that I had waiting for me in Monson because my first pair was pushing like 400 miles. So I figured I'd start fresh here. And my feet were still a little bit like swollen um, leaving today. I don't know if it's a combination of that plus new shoes, plus maybe I tightened them too tight, but my feet aren't feeling great this morning. Uh, I got some pretty bad pain on the side of my left foot. Um, so I'm trying to see if it'll just work itself out as I start moving. I slowed my pace a little. Um, my right calf was also super tight when I started walking. So um, just gonna take it easy. I'm going at least nine miles today to the first lean to south of the 100 mile. If I feel good when I get there, like if my feet feel better, then I might push to um, this random tent site area that I think is around 11 or 12 miles in. But we shall see. I think my group has a lot of differing plans today. Some are pushing 18, which just knowing how my feet feel right now, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Um, I know some are just pushing the nine um, and cutting back the miles drastically out of Monson, which was also my plan slash is also my plan. Um, I'm a little concerned that my pack is too heavy because Poet took my pack out of the van and was like, oh, is this getting you all the way to Stratton? Which is like five to six days. And I was like, oh uh, no. I was just planning on getting me to Caratunk, you know, three days. So yeah, I think I have too much food. But I was like, uh, shoot. So, I mean, it probably could get me to Stratton. I only have three actual dinners, but with all my snacks, I probably could get to Stratton. So, yeah, we'll see. My plan is to get to Caratunk um, three days from now. The plan was like, initially I was, had routed out at nine, 14 and 14 and getting into Caratunk in the afternoon on the third day and the plan is to stay at the Sterling Inn, Sterling Inn, do my resupply there, have a bed, shower, laundry, power and all that. And then anywhere from three to four days to Stratton where I'll stay at either the Hostel of Maine or the Maine Roadhouse. Um, we shall see. So, but my arm's getting tired chatting with you. So I'll check in later. I'll try to show you some of the trail. And uh, yeah, we have two major, well, definitely one major ford today too, if I push to the 11. Um, it's the, ooh, I forget what it's called. It starts with a P, but I'll check in later. Bye. All right, I'm at a pond. I don't know what the name of it is because I haven't looked, but it's the first pond I've seen. since Jordan left, which makes me surprisingly very sad because when he was with me hiking, <laughs> he was just always so excited about every single pond and had to stop and take a picture. So today is just a tough day in general because my feet hurt. And 
and the reality of like being alone is hitting me. My group is separating. So like there's a lot of unknowns about like who I'm gonna be around, if anyone in my group is even gonna be near me moving forward or not. And just like missing home, Jordan, the dogs. And it's just the reality of having to make the adjustment. And just like, uh, my nose is running so bad. Um, not really sure how far I'm gonna go on the trail. Cause like, I don't know. I mean, I guess I should warn everybody who's watching my channel that I don't need, I don't feel like I need to go all the way to Georgia. I'm just out here going as far that feels right for me, whether that's, um, you know, the next town, finishing Maine, getting through the whites. I'm not entirely sure how far that will be. So like, if you're subscribing to see someone that's gonna finish a through hike, I'm probably honestly not your girl because I don't think I have that goal. I just wanna see how far I can go. And once the bad days start outweighing the good days and I'm not having fun and don't really have a desire to keep going, I'm gonna probably call my hike. So I just wanna get that out there for all my new subscribers. I've talked about it in the past, but yeah. But I'm gonna stop blabbing and get to hiking. I think, I think I'm gonna stop at the nine miles today um, just cause of my feet. I probably could push to the 11, but I don't think I should. So just gonna make it a nice easy day. I told myself I was cutting my miles back significantly after the 100 mile wilderness. So I'm gonna stick to that. Um, to try to avoid injury. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, see ya. All right, so this is the east branch of the Pisaquitas River. Um, the trail came out right there and it looks like it goes over there. There's this sort of like dammed up spot right here and above it looks pretty dang deep. So I might try to cross through here. It looks like it's a little bit higher um, and hope for the best. So you're going in my fanny pack and I'm crossing alone. Um, so I'm going to unbuckle my um, backpack hip belt strap and my chest strap. Um, it's not flowing all that fast, so if I fall, I don't think I'm going anywhere, but uh, just gonna follow all the rules of river fording. So I'll see you on the other side. All right, the, oh, I forgot, I just studied how to say the name of that stream. Piscataquis, no, Piscataquis, Piscataquis. <laughs> the East Branch Ford of the Piscataquis was successful. Um, it was just barely shin deep where I crossed. Uh, so easy peasy. The harder part was after I got across, I lost the trail cause it was kind of boggy and overgrown, but I got through and yeah, I only have 2.2 miles left to Horseshoe Canyon lean-to, which is where 
I'm planning on stopping for the day. I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna sit and assess um, the West Branch Ford of the Pisataquis is soon after the lean to. So if I was to push the 11 miles or so total to this tent site, I'd be able to get that Ford out of the way. Um, but we'll, we'll see. It would be nice to have it out of the way. Um, my shoes are already wet, so you know, it's like it'd be nice to just get them wet again <laughs> now instead of letting them dry overnight only to get wet again first thing tomorrow morning. But it is what it is. I think it's supposed to rain a little tomorrow, which could also affect the fording conditions tomorrow, but I don't think it's supposed to rain that much. So it'll be negligible. But we'll see how I feel at Horseshoe Canyon lean to um, and decide there. So I don't know what my problem is. I've peed like six times today. I've only been out just under seven miles and I've had to stop and pee so much. I'm hoping it's all of the swelling or edema that was in my feet uh, is coming out. That would be nice. But, all right, that's it for now. Check in later. All right, everyone, I'm in my tent at the Horseshoe Canyon lean-to. Um, when I got here, there were a few people having lunch from the Shaw's group and they've all pushed on, which I'm not surprised about. I think most everyone is pushing on. Um, I only did my nine miles today. There was a Nobo hiker that showed up though and she said she was staying here. Um, and then when the last of the group was leaving after their lunch break, she got up and said she was gonna go find water and then set up her tent. But that was like 45 minutes ago and she hasn't come back so um, my guess is she's not staying here anymore at this point for some reason. Um, there was supposed to be two others that were staying here tonight from my group at the hostel, but they have not arrived yet. And it's about 3 p.m., so I'm not sure if they're still staying here or if they decided to push on, but it's very likely that I am here all alone. Um which is kind of depressing, um, especially since I'm having a pretty hard day today, mentally. Um, yeah, so tomorrow is gonna be around 13 miles um, to Bald Mountain Brook lean to, and then the day after that is 14.7 into Caratonk. I'm planning on staying at the Sterling Inn um, and resupplying there and then crossing the Kennebec um, the next morning, which will be Friday morning. So um, that's the plan. I, like I said, I'm struggling a bit today and just kind of want to go home, if I'm being honest. But I will see how the next few days go. So yeah, that's probably going to be it for today, honestly. But I will see you tomorrow and hopefully I'm in a better mood. I don't even have cell service here. Um, so like I can't even text Jordan or like do anything to get in a better mood. So I'm just going to hang out in my tent. Maybe someone will show up later. It's still early. And that will help take my mind off things. So, see you tomorrow. Good night. My uh, feet and ankles are just so rashy every day after I'm done hiking. You can see it all right here, all along here, there, tops of my feet. 